What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing another squad builder in NBA 2K20, my team. And in this video, this we might actually end up making another one of these, depending on what way they do free cards, what other ways there is to get them, but in this video I'm going to be doing purely a squad of free players in NBA 2K20, my team. So all these guys right here are going to be cards that I've earned throughout the year. So we're going to be looking at, I'm going to say token rewards up to diamond. Anything above diamond, I'm not going to consider them free because, well, one, I'm not on the, I'm not past it. Obviously, I've spent no money in the game. I've locked in no tokens, so I technically have gotten them all for free. And then other cards are cards that you can grind for. So um, these cards are all going to be completely free, and they're not cards. Well, actually, no, I'm going to... I'll see what way the squad's looking like before I decide on the token rewards. So we're going to start off with our center position, which is a bit of a weird way to go about this, but I'm going to start off with... Let me have a look at these certain players. So, I think I'm going to chuck in Mikhail at center. And then a power forward. Let's throw in Lucas. I think this is going to be a really, really nice team. So, Kevin Mikhail is the reward for completing the 1980s final spotlight sim. So, 610, 43 Hall of Fame badges, including gold and gold range extender, Hall of Fame quick draw. And pretty decent drill moves. Stats are nearly perfect as well. In speed boost and is pretty quick. Jerry Lucas, base 98. He's got, I'm not, I'm struggling with him, but you know what, I'll figure it out eventually. He's got 50 Hall of Fame, 21 gold badges. Again, another elite, elite god tier card in the game. We have got, he's got a 97 three point shot, 86 ball handle, 94 block. At the small forward position, I'm gonna play, I'm actually gonna go all the way to these guys and put in Larry Bird. Actually, who's taller? Jerry Lucas or Larry Bird? 6'9, 6'9. Okay, so I play Larry Bird, small four position. Larry Bird, 99 every single stash, basically. There is no point, uh, again, going over them because he may as well have 99 as well as 63 Hall of Fame badges. I think the only badge he doesn't have is steady. So these are his gold badges. The rest of them are Hall of Fame. At the two, we're going to put in my favorite, my. Uh, probably my second favorite two guard in the game, but I'm gonna play him at the three probably. I'm gonna put in, I'll start Glenn. Let's start Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice is our base 98 player. As you guys can see, I've played 168 games with Glenn Rice. I think, I'm not sure, I think, is it Yanis who's played more games than Glenn? I think maybe the free Yanis I got has played more games than Glenn. Has he? 127, no, Glenn's played the most games for my entire team, I'm pretty sure. So he's going in there, and yeah, I think Glenn definitely has played the most games. Most of those being TTO games, not going to lie. Well, the fact he's averaging 10.6 points a game, mostly in TTO, is kind of crazy. He's got 43 Hall of Fame badges, a grand total of 68 total badges, which is absolutely nuts. Off quick first step, the best release in the game, pretty decent handles. He's got a behind the back where he can glitch the opponent's feet. He's got really good defensive stats. Problem is, he got a really low steal tendency, but you know what? He's still a top five card in my team, in my opinion. Not quite number one, but top five. Then at the point guard position, this is a bit of a tricky one. I can go with Harden. I'm just trying to look for height wise. Is there any tall ones that I can use? I can go with Harden, I can go with Brogdon. I, if I could play Kobe there, that would be great. If I want defense, I could go with Jeff Petrie. But I'm actually going to put in this dude right here. I'm gonna put in Bingo Smith. Bingo Smith, base 38, gold quick draw. He's actually got really good stats and a card that is seriously underrated in this game. Seriously, seriously underrated. So I'm going to put in Bingo Smith. Then off the bench, again, I'm not entirely sure who I'm going to put in a point guard. At the two, it's going to be Kobe Bryant. Kobe, again, may as well have 99 in every single stat. Does he have a 90, actually? He's a 90 post up. He may as well have 99 in every single stat. Has got 61 Hall of Fame badges as well. Six gold, so not quite as great as some of the other cards in the game badges wise, but he's still basically 99 everything. I'm not the biggest fan of Kobe either because the Kobe escapes really the only thing he has, but other than that, he is still a great card. Small four position, we're gonna play Rudy. Rudy is, in my opinion, another top 10 card. I think I had him actually at number 11. So I think if you're looking at like the top 10 cards in the game, realistically, you've got three of them here in the squad, like in Glenn, Larry, and Rudy. And Rudy's very, very close to top 10, if even if he's slightly outside. Again, he may as well have 95 in every single stat. Well, 95 plus in every single stat. He's got a really great release, 71 total badges, 50 of them being Hall of Fame. He also has got, let's actually check his steel tendency. I have not checked that, I don't think. 
60 forwards is not terrible. Also, he's got the Pro 8 tween, so he can tween up and down the course. Dribble glitch. He also has got the long at-least hop step, which is the best one in the game. I'm pretty sure him and Siakam are the only players in this game. Him and Opal Siakam are the only players that have that combination of tween and hop step. Then we are going to put in power forward position. You know what? I'm actually going to I might run two almost identical cards. I would actually consider that. Oh, do I want a cone or do I want a big? Ask question. Power forward position is a bit of a tricky one. You know what? I think I'm going to actually run with a diamond card. And this might be a bit of a bit of a bad call, but I'm going to put in Roko. Roko's got unbelievable length. Again, plays lanes really well. Got a really high on-ball steal tendency and a great defensive player. Problem with Roko is that he's not the best rebounder, but I think he'll be fine there. And at the center position, I'm going to put in Mark Gasol. Yeah, Marc Gasol. I prefer his... I, him and Akeem, same release. I prefer Marc Gasol because he's an inch taller and he just seems to play better for me. Again, they're basically the same card. So for that reason, my third choice center is going to be Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah, another card you've gotten both Marc Gasol and Hakeem. Hakeem's better stats-wise. They both have the same jump shot. Marc Gasol's an inch taller. Hakeem, 99 block. Good jump shot. He's got 44 half badges, 15 golds. Marc Gasol himself has got 46 Hall of Fame badges, 14 golds. Slightly worse stats. Slightly worse speed, but again, they're both ex absolutely exceptional. And again, if we are struggling a little bit height-wise with our starters, I can either put Hakeem in for Mikhail or put Mikhail to the four and move Hakeem to the five. And then I'm going to throw in a point guard, Dennis Johnson, as a cone. So jo Dennis Johnson just play defense because, again, he is that little bit undersized. At the same time, he does have an... Um oh, it's only... Si I thought it was higher than 66. That's not great. I do really like his release, though. I really like his release. He's got solid interior defense, great perimeter defense, great speed, speed, ball, and acceleration. Has got a pretty decent dunk. And I actually do really like this card. So then last two off the bench. We're going to have to get a point guard in. So I like D-Rose. I don't want to use him, though, because he's too little. Um, might be the worst idea in the world to put in Chapman. Because like, he, I can cook with Chapman. So I'm going to put in... I don't like Harden. I would like if I would if I was going for token rewards, I put in Westfall. I would 150% put in Westfall if we were going for token rewards. But I'm gonna throw in. Give me Brogdon. Brogdon, I think will do a bit of a job. Again, if we are struggling a little bit, I think Brogdon outshoots um, Harden and Dennis. He doesn't quite outshoot Dennis Johnson, but I think he does a good job. And then we just need a wing. So players that I can look at. I can go with Aguirre, I can go with Worthy, I can go with Pierce. I can go with Dr. J. Siakam. There's a lot of really great players here. There's a lot of really great players. Heck, Ingram's a good player. I can go with Yan. There's a Yanis card that I can use. I can use Roy. This is a tricky one. This is a really tricky one. Or even Reddish is a potential player to use. But I'm going to go with... I'm going to put in Dr. J... Or Siakam. Siakam, Siakam. Just in case Roko is struggling so I can put him at the four. So yeah, this is the team we are going to be running with. This is the all um, completely free squad. Obviously, I have a better team than this plus one million MT that I've made from the start of the year with no, M with, um, no MT. So yeah, I am going to play a game right now. Okay, so we're playing against Magic, PG, Larry, Mikhail, and Cat. I'm guessing we see Mellow somewhere on the bench. So he's got Unsell, Pierce, Mellow. Oh, lovely, lovely. He's got two players that can't shoot from the corners on his bench. And he's like, hopefully he plays Butler at the two. So I can just leave Mellow and Pierce in the corner. That would be kind of nice. Um, But other than that, it's a good team. I'm not worried about it. I'm not. If this dude's good, then fair enough. But at this stage in the game, everyone's got a good team, so... I'm not particularly worried about this squad. Okay, let's just deny line. Deny line here. Oh, he's five out. It's fine. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. I dare you. I dare you. I want to see what you're about. I want to see what you're about. Come on. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. And he blew it. Let's go. You want to? I just want to test out, see what you're about. Before I decide what way I want to play this game, what way I want to force you, I want to see what you're all about. See if you're going to be hesitant to shoot shots. See if you're going to let it fly. Things like that. The first quarter of a game is never really about getting a big lead early. It helps. It sure as hell does help. But 
It's never normally that. I don't know. I hate the fact that I'm using Lakers jerseys, even though I hate the Lakers. I think there was a glitch on PC where this um, kit gave people invisible players. So, oh. So that's why I was using it. Ah, oh, and icons aren't working. I'm spamming or one, lads. I'm spamming or one. I'm spamming or one. As you guys can hear. People actually don't believe the icon breaking is a real thing. People don't believe it's a real thing. There we go. Oh, that's my fault. We got blessed. We got blessed right there. That's off, surely. Nope, he hits the white as well. Fair enough. Okay, let's see. He's got PG at the two. It can be tricky. Nah, not taking that. He's playing me way too high on that one there. He's playing me way too high. That's my shot. You not, can't give me that. Come on. Should be a green. Yeah, good shot. The power of 38 right there. Bingo Smith here at eight points early. Okay, this game I think is going to be a bit of a battle, to be honest. This guy knows what he's doing, clearly. Like, I know I've been able to score at will, but at the same time, I've been kind of struggling to stop him. He hasn't been throwing too many baited passes, so... One good thing, though, is that I can help a little bit off Kevin McHale. Okay, he's running deep patch. He's running deep patch. That's fine. Okay, he's running the strong side deep patch, which... If you don't know how to guard it, it's unstoppable, but at least it's kind of just like... It's all just about switching your matchups and playing uh, the correct lanes. Oh, I probably should... Uh, had a chance. Okay, just let me run baseline. Come on, you do not play over screens. Come on, like, I play the game of basketball. And in the past, I've played it at a relatively high level. I know that if you're forcing me like that on screens, I'm going to just sprint to the basket. Like, if I have a speed advantage, which I do, quick first step is a thing. So that basically means that I can just blow by you to the basket every single time if you want to play screens like that. I've literally been one tween away from getting open. Oh, 2K! You're screwing me. You're screwing me right here. You're screwing me. Good rotations by him. Give credit or credit to you. He's actually made some really good rotations this game. And that's, a, that's a, what, not open shot whatsoever. That's not smart by me. And that max wingspan of Mikhail coming in handy right there. Shoot that off. Oh, you are bailing him, 2K. You are bailing him. Don't that. Good, Gasol. Let's go. Couple of stops, though. Again, he's just gotten blessed in this quarter. Right into him. Don't that. Good. Start taking twos. Start taking twos. We're clearly not having success taking threes, so let's start taking twos. That's fine. Just let him run. He's not going to quick stop and do anything here. Oh, that's a smart play. This guy is playing this game smart. Again, I will always give credit or credit to you when my opponent's playing well. He's playing well. Let's open. That's my shot. Let's go. Don't give me that. Icon, start working again. I just want him to toss this pass. I want him to toss this. We can get the bump. No, we can't. We're there, we're there, we're there. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Oh, good cut. Good, good cut right there. It's fine, though. We, we can get this back to a two-point game at halftime. We're fine. We're fine with that, like. Just gonna hold until the last shot, anyway. Game management is important. And you know what? I think if he's still playing high on the screens, we'll just run to the basket. Get Where are you going, Gasol? Now. Toss. Ah, great defense by him. He read that perfectly, so. I thought maybe he was gonna push in a little bit higher on Kobe. Oh, don't cut, you idiot! Do not cut! Oh my god. Why are you cutting? Why are you cutting? You were wide open. And you cut. Not only did you cut, you didn't even face cut. You just cut behind the player. Shoot the corner too. It's fine. Good shot. Can live with it. it was a if I didn't help him, it was guaranteed two anyway. At least uh, not guaranteed two on the open jumper. Rim run, rim run, rim run. Glenn, why are you moving? Glenn, you are in, you, what are you doing? What AI, like, who programmed this game? Who programmed these players? They run away from space. They run away from space. It doesn't make sense. Who pro, this is sloppy programming. Who programmed this? This is not how basketball players react. Players do not run away from being open. Players do not run away from being open in real life. Who programmed this? People are saying the programs of this game are good. Hell no, they're not. It's like they've never watched a game of basketball since the 1980s with how bad spacing is in this game. 
Oh my god, catch the ball! There, we're there. Hand. That's not a 10% test. We literally jumped at him. We were an inch away from him, we jumped at him. That's a 10%, and if he's nowhere near me, it's an 80%. Like. Track back, track back. Got a hand on that. This dude's good. Like, I will give. I have to give this guy props for being a good player. Because regardless of how much I'm complaining about this game, it doesn't change the fact that this dude can this dude can ball. This dude can ball, like. After the first couple of times getting baseline, he, he adjusted the way he played screens. Like, this dude can react. Like he's reacting, he's playing well. Like this dude. He can play. Let's open. Green that. Let's go, Jerry Lucas. Big shot right there. Wait, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. We're pinching in. Oh, I thought he was going to make the extra pass. Good shot. He was unfortunate with his timing, but that was actually smart shot to shoot. Okay, he acts. Let's go. Bench is in. Our bench should be fine. Okay, our bench should be fine. Like, if I'm if I'm struggling with this lineup, then it's a me problem, not a game problem. Oh, he gave, he gave me the baseline. He gave me the baseline. We blew it. Tie game. Let's go. Man, if we're missing shots with Dennis Johnson, there's something seriously wrong with me. Straight into our hands. Oh, you got so blessed. You got so blessed. And you got the rebound over Gasol with a point guard. I get it, it's Magic Johnson. You got so blessed twice in that possession. The ball went through Siakam's hands. Then your point. Then Magic get rebounded Gasol. Don't let him get bumpy. Do not let him get bumpy. Green that. Good, Rudy. Let's go. Tie game. So I don't think he's going to do too much damage. Good shot. Good shot right there. Okay. Do I might... Yeah, I'm going to go two for one. I'm going to go two for one here. He's going to give me baseline. Going to go right back to Gasol. Not on the move. <sighs> Why? Why? I clicked pick and pop. Why did you run at the basket, Gasol? You got... You're getting blessed. You are getting blessed right here. I have to give up that. I would have taken that if I was him. He's evidently not feeling comfortable. Great job, Kobe. Take the two. Take the two. We should have a lane right here. Kobe trigger something good. There we go. As long as we trigger a dunk animation there, we're fine. It's just when we start triggering layups, bad things happen. Ah, oh, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think he trusts Gasol to shoot the ball. Oh, Dennis Scott, we got to be there on the double. Good defense. Great defense there. Straight at to Rudy. Get the dunk. Get the dunk. Let's take this lead for the first time in the longest time. I think the first quarter was the last time we took the lead. Okay, going fast. Was smart right there by him. This is a sweat game. This is a full-on sweat game. Okay. Have to give it up. Do I give up the half-open three? And he hit the white. Oh, why are you moving? Do why are why are all my players cutting right now? Why are all my players cutting? Like it does not make sense. It actually doesn't make sense where my players are standing right now. Oh, he's throwing the ball into his hands. My players, every single time one of them was open for a pass, I throw the pass and they've cut away from being open. They literally just. It's in con like whoever's programming this has never watched a basketball match before. Like standing in the corner is an important thing. The corners in real life, the corners are never open unless you are running a set play. The corner in a freelance, the corners are always open, are always um, being occupied by somebody because it's the most important thing for drive and kick situations. Why is it in two K they think that people should never be in the corners? Some big players right here, and since he's gone zone, I've just been in struggle town. You know what? Everyone's get out of there. Spread. Spread. He's going to walk away. I'm telling you right now, he's going to walk away or he's going to go back to man. He went back to man. It's fine. Green that. Good. Let's go. Lock in for this last 154. Make the pass. Make the pass. Make the pass. Good move. He's, that's a smart move. That's a really smart play by this guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're way out of position. Shoot the ball. I dare you. I dare you. If you green it, you deserve it. Let's go. He's going to leave me, is he? Oh, he's left Glenn in the corner. What are you doing? Why? Why are you inside the three-point line? Oh, I thought we had that. 
Could have this. Okay, he's gonna play. Oh, we went for the handoff. We're there, we're there. We stepped on there. It's great defense. It's great defense. He's gonna need a big shot. He's gonna need a big shot. Great play. Fair, great play. Great play. Last sec, end of sec, or end of shot clock, last second. Greens with Casal. I will give credit where credit's due. He deserves credit there. And he's left me. Why? He's gone, he's gone back man. Yeah, he's gone back man. He's just setting up 2-3 zone and going back man. Give me the dunk. Okay, I thought he was going to miss the open layup there. Oh, good. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. Make him swing the ball from side to side. Don't let him keep the ball in his hands. Oh, great handoff. Great move right there. Fair play. This guy has come up clutch. He has made some really good plays down the stretch. Like plays that I would not expect have expected from many many people. Like they are some clutch plays. That is a big block there by PG. Alright. Game could have gone either way. Should I have been ahead a little bit more going to the fourth? Probably, but you know what? I can't I can't question it down the stretch. This guy was the guy who pulled out the plays. So fair play. Good game. So yeah, an unfortunate game, you know what? No shame in losing to a good player. So yeah, this team was free. Obviously, you cannot purchase any of these cards. This team cost me zero MT. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robbing. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not, not.